What is a vortex engine? A vortex engine is made of a stator and a rotor. There is only one moving part, the rotor. The stator is composed of two half stator, which form a torus. The only point of contact between the rotor and the stator is here, at the level of the ball bearings. There is no friction between the rotor and the stator, so there is no energy losses. Each half stator is iniatomeric. In other words, each half stator is the image of the other in a mirror. This is the admission, this is the exhaust. However, for simplicity, the ignition is placed on one side, as is the fuel injection. The ignition is performed by a spark plug. When the starter rotates the rotor, the rotor blade sucks the air through the intake manifold. The air wraps around the toric vortex. As it progresses in the stator, the air is compressed. Here, near the point of maximum compression, the fuel is injected. The fuel mixes with the air and the spark plug lights the mixture. The hot gases expand and the vortex gives up energy to the rotor. The hot gases exit through the exhaust port at this location. As there is no contact between the stator and the rotor, it is also possible to use powdered fuel. Charcoal powder, wood chips, pellet, crushed household waste, crushed plastic or any other combustible material. There is no need for cooling because the dilatation of the stator doesn't matter. So there is no energy loss in the cooling system. And the rotor acts as a thermal exchanger, which warms the cold air at the intake, so the performance of the engine are optimal.